Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas day 18. Can you believe that? It's day 18, six days left to Christmas. Today the sky is very very misty and grey. I'm about to go have my breakfast, take a shower and then I have to unbox this little box here. Let's open my advent calendar, shall we? This is what I'm talking about. Very dark and gray. Okay, here we go. Heels. Day 18. It's a little baby product. Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate. I actually have a full size of this product and I love it. It's ultra hydrating and plumping great for under the makeup and um, yeah absolutely love it so it's gonna be a really nice travel size for me little lin bear mm, i said it right this time right i'm gonna try my best to say bear instead of beer <laughs> oh that's a very beautiful one day 18 Look, it's got like silver snow. I need to do my nails today. I've had no nail polish on for like two days now. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> that's a massive product. De Longcom. It's a perfumed shower gel. Wow. Yay, thank you, Longcom. That's very generous. So here's what I'm having for breakfast. I'm having an omelette with, uh, I mixed in some cheese, herbs. Um, so yeah, it looks yummy. And then I'm having rye bread with avocado, cheddar cheese, cherry tomatoes, um, lemon on top, and my coffee. So yeah. Sorry guys, but today I didn't pick up my camera after breakfast at all. It's half past seven in the evening. I just uh, put my yesterday's vlogmas uh, to upload. Just a bunch of admin things um, I need to do. So I'm very much behind my emails. I need to get on top of them. And I have to open this parcel that I was sent today. So maybe let's do it now and then I will go to eat. Okay, so this is from Loving Tan, which is my favorite fake tan brand, you guys know that. And they always send me Christmas, Easter, Halloween, um, you know, holiday gifts. And this is the Christmas gift. Look, their presentation is always so amazing. So, got this little snowflake. Oh my god, it says, Yeah, well, wishing you and your family a very safe and Merry Christmas. Lots of love, Joe and the Loving Tan fam. I mean, it's incredible that a brand, I mean, yes, I do work with them, but it's still so incredible sweet that they would send a gift like that. Not many brands do that, actually, and they're always the sweetest. I mean, look at that. It's so pretty, right? kind of want to take this silver snowflake off and put it on my Christmas tree. Look at that. So last year they sent me a pyjama which said Merry Tanmas, I think it was. So this is a little gingerbread cookie in a shape of a Christmas tree. Oh look, some candy cane. I'm gonna put those on my Christmas tree. That's for sure. Is that a new pajama? Or it might be a jumper actually. Has a loving tan uh, ribbon on it. Let's see. Another. This is a gingerbread man. Whoa. So many products. Okay, I have loads of backups now. Let's put that box down. So. They've sent me a tanner removing and skin polishing glove and two deluxe applicator mitts. And then they've sent me the bronze shimmer luminous cream in medium, which like is like an instant wash off tan. 
and then um, they know what color I use, they know I use medium, but recently I've been using dark and it's amazing as well, it's not too dark for me and I'm super pale, I haven't used fake tan in forever, so I'll have to, um, you know, use some maybe tonight that could be nice, so I'm gonna wake up all bronze tomorrow. This is Deluxe Bronzing Mousse and this is 2 Hour Express um, Bronzing Mousse in medium. So this one you have to keep on for 8 hours and this one for 2 hours for the tan to develop. So I actually really like the Express one because it's super quick, you can use it you know, during the day. If I use the 8 hour one, I always use it at night when I go to sleep and I wear dark pyjama so that it uh, wouldn't stay in my bed sheets. So yeah, the new products and let's open this. Like a little zip up hoodie. No! Oh my god, it's actually a onesie! Oh my god, that is adorable. I'm gonna try not to catch fire. <laughs> oh my god, that is so cool. I actually really want to wear it on Christmas day and just snuggle up with a bunch of chocolate, watch Harry Potter wearing this onesie. I'm sure Linda will want to steal it from me. Oh my god, that's so cool. I might try it on tonight actually, that's so nice. And it's actually, I think, a perfect thing to wear while your tan is developing. Okay, now I'm gonna go have my dinner and uh, today I will try and bake my banana bread that I wanted to bake for quite a few days now. I promise tomorrow's vlogmas is gonna be much more interesting. Oh, and by the way guys, I wanna update you on my piercings, so this Kaflon solution has been helping me so much like I use it a few times not even every day and my ears have healed the infection is completely gone so I'm really really happy about that I'm still gonna keep using it just to make sure that you know the infection doesn't come back oh my god the onesie is pretty much the perfect fit for me I've got a little droopy crotch going on <laughs> But besides that, it's perfect. So my dinner is harcha soup. I believe it's Armenian soup. It's got meat, rice and vegetables in it. So now I'm gonna have the Twinings Christmas tea that I was sent and I'm gonna add a little bit of milk because they even recommend adding some milk. And now for dessert, I'm just gonna have some Greek yogurt, this one with wild strawberries that I got recently. And it's so delicious, it's actually very thick. So I'm gonna add some granola and honey on top, I think. Let's do some baking. It's quite late already and it's not a baking hour at all, but I decided that I want to prepare the batter tonight and then pop it in the oven when I wake up so that in the morning I can have some fresh um, banana bread just out of the oven. So I'm gonna use Tanya Bakes book and I'm gonna do her Australian toasted banana bread, which looks like this. So let's get all of the ingredients ready. So the prep time is 15 minutes and the cooking time is 40, 15 minutes. I'm gonna share with you guys all of the ingredients you need in case you don't have the book. This is so cute. He's helping his brother Billy come to the kitchen. Because Billy is behind the door, he's trying to enter and Louis is trying to open the door for him. You're nearly there, Louis. So the ingredient list for this banana bread is super simple. All you're gonna need is 150 grams of softened butter. I'm gonna have to soften it. Then you're gonna need 350 grams of peeled ripe bananas that made three and a half bananas 160 grams of uh, soft dark brown sugar two large eggs these are like normal sized eggs one teaspoon of vanilla extract but because i don't have vanilla extract i'm gonna use uh, one teaspoon of vanilla sugar 200 grams of plain flour uh, two and a half 
teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. And that is it. These are all of the ingredients. Super simple, right? Okay, so the first thing you need to do is preheat the oven on 170 degrees. 325 Fahrenheit or GM3. It says grease and line the loaf tin with a greaseproof paper, mash the bananas and set aside. To make my life easier, I'm gonna use Thermomix for everything. So I'm gonna mash the bananas with it, but you can use a fork, of course. Voila, that took five seconds. <laughs> So next it says cream together the butter and sugar until light and fluffy. I've just melted my butter. I'm gonna take it together with the sugar and pour them into the Thermomix. So that's the banana mixture. Now let's add in the butter. Honestly guys, the first thing I'm gonna get when I move out of home is Thermomix. Just the best invention ever. So now I'm gonna mix those two together. That's the result after 10 seconds. It's not white and fluffy, so I'm gonna have to mix for a little longer. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe my butter was melted too much because it just doesn't get white and fluffy. But anyway, now it's the time to mix in the eggs, the flour, and basically all of the ingredients together. Salt. I think the baking powder goes last, so I'm gonna add eggs. The eggs are in, now I'm just adding the baking powder. Okay, the mixture already looks and smells really nice, so now it's time to add in the bananas. So guys, this is what the mixture looks like. It is now time to pour everything into the lined baking tray. And tomorrow morning will be the moment of truth when we will find out if the banana bread is any good. Okay, so it's all ready to be baked, but now I'm gonna cover it and pop it in the fridge. Okay, I'm really excited for it. I'm gonna have some fresh baked banana bread in the morning with a cup of coffee. I think it is fair to say that I have quite enough of loving tan products, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm basically stocked up for quite a while. I've decided not to be selfish and to make today's giveaway prize a full set of tanning supplies. So guys, this is what you will win today. I already did a giveaway with these three, but this time I'm giving away the mousse as well. So you will get the deluxe bronzing mousse in medium. Um, the bronze shimmer luminous cream in medium, the applicator mitt and the tan removing and skin polishing glove. So this entire set and all you have to do to win it is follow me on Instagram, uh, then like this picture and under the picture leave the comment um, using hashtag Chanelette Vlogmas and tag three of your friends or three people or Instagram accounts that inspire you. And that is all you have to do to win this full tanning set. If you can hear the noise in the background, that's the fan that turns on automatically as you switch on the light. So there is nothing I can do. You'll have to bear with it. But I wanted to show you guys how I fake tan and what I use. So the most important thing is prep. So you can use a body scrub, a body brush, um, a, a skin polishing glove from Loving Tan or any sort of scrubby thing just to get rid of all the dead skin cells then you have to moisturize your skin and you shouldn't use anything that has oil in it so no body oils no moisturizers with oil in it i would use any body lotion for it but i do really like uh, using dove summer revived body lotion which um, is a gradual self tanner actually so it just gives a little bit of color but i like to use it all over my body just as a base for my fake tan. You have to focus on the driest parts of your body, so like your elbows, your knees, uh, your ankles, knuckles, those kind of like drier areas of your body. I use my deluxe applicator mitt from Loving Tan. I actually use the same fake tan on my face as well. Um, you can do that, you might 
just keep it and tan only your body and not your face because fake tan can kind of clog and accentuate your pores or sometimes if I skip my face I would use my Clahon's um, self tanning drops these are my favorite you just add a few drops into your moisturizer and apply it all over your face that is specifically for your face or I would use this gradual build tan a self tanning night moisture mask from Vita Liberata for the back uh, Loving Tan sent me this back applicator and I'm gonna tell you honestly it's completely useless it's so bad I mean this punch is horrible it does nothing I mean yeah just useless so I guess I'm quite flexible because I can do my own back like I can reach and do my own back but if you can't you can ask someone to do your back for the face I would use um, a little like a disposable sponge I like these little triangle makeup sponges they're softer than this one so yeah I'm gonna show you how I apply my fake tan for me my hands are the most difficult part because this is where it shows that you have fake tan on so I would use this face mask um, on my hands just to moisturize my hands really uh, well beforehand and then I would take a glove and really massage the tan into my hands I know it seems like a lot of work but once you get the hang of it you can do it in like five minutes okay so first I'm gonna apply my body lotion by the way a lot of you guys ask me where this uh, robe is from it's actually from H&M and I got it recently so yeah make sure your skin is very well moisturized okay so now I'm gonna go in with the fake tan and just apply it as you would a body lotion it doesn't leave any streaks for your knees I recommend bending your knees and applying it like that okay this is kind of ridiculous I'm literally sitting in my bathtub so I applied my tan all over my body it honestly took me five minutes to do now I'm gonna apply it on my face yeah not my favorite way to apply it Another thing, just like with foundation, make sure you don't leave this stripe on your jawline. Now for the hands, as I said, I like to apply a little bit of the mask. So sometimes I would just leave the mask on and not apply any fake tan on my hands. Got my dark Hogwarts PJs on because you don't want to stay in your light bed sheets with the fake tan and I'm gonna do yoga with Adrienne day three yay super excited and then I will go to sleep